All right, Mary, thank you so much. The Tony-nominated Broadway hit Beetlejuice, based on the 1988 Tim Burton movie, has returned home to D.C. <laughs> yes, Beetlejuice actually got its start right at National Theater before heading to Broadway and earning those Tony nominations. And it has developed quite a bit. Take a look. It's showtime. Welcome to a show about death. I'm going to need some help. And joining us now is one of the cast members, Jesse Sharp, who plays Charles. Just a little snippet of Beatles. Yes. Just a little snippet, yeah. But we appreciate you being here this so morning. We know we had a here. show last yeah. night. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, Jeez. you know, it's one thing to be able to uh, be a part of such an iconic show, but it's come home. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. I saw it before it went to Broadway. You saw it this week, but yeah. you yeah. say it's changed a little bit. It's changed a little bit. It's evolved mm. over the years, yeah. but we, we actually have several of the original out of town Broadway actors in our production, so it's a homecoming uh. for them. And it's, wow. it's fantastic, and our audiences have been insane okay, so far. Okay, that's what I was not ready for yeah. Tuesday night. People were dressed up, everyone. Everyone was dressed up, and even on the opening song, people were cheering like it was a rock concert. Oh, yeah. No, no Just pressure. Before we walk <laughs> out, <laughs> they're like, okay, happened. well, we better deliver. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, is that every audience like that? Nearly every audience, yeah. You're I, kidding. It's the show has taken on a life of its own. It, you know, mm. the original Broadway production had such a TikTok presence, and there's just this amazing mm. swell of, like, young theater audiences who love it. And there's mm. people like me who grew up with the original movie, yeah, so movie. it's it's yeah. uh, you know it's it's really special. It and that's one cool. of the cool things because you haven't seen the movie. I've never seen. Call, yeah. I've never seen the movie. <laughs> and I told her I'm like maybe see the movie because when the snake comes out and the shark yeah, gets yeah, head, yeah, yeah. I'm like I don't yeah. you know I, I couldn't remember if you would really pick it up on there, but yeah you don't have to have seen. You don't no. have to have seen it, but it, there, there'll be sneaky little Easter eggs throughout the show yeah. for people who have seen it. Yeah. I did have that question too because you had some things that seemed to be for the local DC audience. You had an NPR bag that came oh, yeah. out at one point. There were some jokes about burning or banning and burning books. And I think some of those things were like the things they experimented with when they were developing the show and opened in DC. Oh. Like they're oh. like, oh, this will really play. And it's amazing to see how some of those jokes play across the country. And it's just things land. You know, we there's a <laughs> so joke you don't about. It for you don't, don't No, we oh, don't change okay. it ever. There's a joke about the uh, Electoral College in yes. Ohio. So when yes. we're in Ohio, they go crazy. Like there's just so <laughs> many different things. But it's it's the exact it's same. It's the show exact every same. Night. Oh, yeah, it yeah. felt so much like it was to a DC there's audience. There's a little improv. Beetlejuice will sort of throw. You know, if the audience gives him something, he's going to play it right back. But and they did. Yeah. They yelled at him oh, yeah. on Tuesday night. <laughs> they the one guy yelled four at the end, like four. It, I he played it off really well. He did, and then happen? as yeah, after curtain closed, like oh, I could have said this, I could have said <laughs> this. That's yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Justin's yeah. like a, an improviser. He definitely has that brain. Yeah, yeah. You, he took a long pause. I was like, oh, what's yeah. he about to say? <laughs> <laughs> well, and I love to your wife's in the show. Yes, and you guys are cool. traveling. You got your pup that you travel. We have with. Our, our dog Chip. Uh, my wife Lexi's a swing on the show, and we met ten years ago on tour with the Adams Family musical. So we've been oh. sort of doing this crazy awesome. carnival life. Awesome, we get to do it together. We get to do it yeah. together. Because I know touring like can be, it's a long yeah. haul. Oh, it's a long haul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now we have each other and we drive all over the country with our nine pound little chihuahua. Wow. <laughs> That's so well, Are you doing anything while you're here in D.C.? Honestly, um, we're, we're living in the Logan Circle area. We okay. have a little Airbnb. Great so I'm just exploring the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's amazing yeah. to, to actually get to be in D.C. and not just go to monuments and museums, yeah. which we're doing <laughs> that too. But I'm like, yeah. no, this is a neighborhood where people live. Like, it's very yeah. cool. And Wait, not too far from the theater. Not too far yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you've been super busy, not just theater, but lots of TV work. You were on her favorite show. The Marvelous Mrs. Yes. Maisel. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah. You played a TV reporter. I played a TV <laughs> reporter. Yeah. I hope I did all right. <laughs> yes. No, actually, I've not caught up. I haven't seen your part yet. Okay, I saw no like the first three episodes. Like, yeah, don't tell me anything, please. Yeah, no, it was great. Um, such an amazing show and you know as a New York working actor we're always auditioning and trying to get on these great shows and it took me five yes. seasons but I finally made it to oh, Basil. So. You got in there. Yeah yeah That's yeah. That's great. Congratulations. Well, enjoy your time here in Thank DC. You. Again yes. we appreciate you joining us Happy this morning. Be yes. Beetlejuice is now playing at the Nash Show Theater through May 28th so you have time to go see it.